All right, all these personnel issues notwithstanding, the uh, president is definitely making clear he's got a 2020 run going right now. Charlie Gasparino uh, looking into all of that and uh, the investigation that ensues. Where are we here? Um, this whole drama. Well, I mean, I think it's the cart before the horse because this Mueller thing is still... It's still going. They're still interviewing people, and it's really interesting. My sources, who have, who I'm going to say, people with direct knowledge of the questions that Mueller is asking. That's how I'm going to right. cite this. So this is this is pretty much primary sourcing here. Are saying this that Mueller is is ramping up the investigation. It's far flung. I reported a little bit about this yesterday. That includes his business interests. But here is some of the news that I got as of now that they are really looking at Donald Trump's business interests in, with, in Russia for the time period of March, 20, March 2015 to June 2015, right before he announced that he was running for president. They are, they are, they are honing in on this. They are asking witnesses about... And why are they honing in on this? You know, this was setting the stage for his run. You have to that, know what was going on who prior. Knows, they, don't, they don't say why Understood. in these things. But what they're saying is, do you know anything about the, 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 Moscow, the Trump Moscow Hotel, which was around that time he was thinking of doing a hotel right before he officially announced he was running? Do you know anything about Felix Sater, uh, a guy that he was apparently going to do business with? He's a, Rus he, he's a Russian national. He right, went right. to jail at some point. Um, and they're, they're honing in on his business dealings in Russia. Now, what's, what I think is fascinating about this is that, do you remember initially it was all about collusion? Well, what they're really looking for here is not just collusion. They're looking at collusion with the Russians, but also the business, at least that's how, what you can sort of surmise from the questions, the, his business interests which set up the ability possibly to collude with with Russians to 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 sway the election his way or to have positive stuff in the in the media and the social media to push his candidacy. That's where it looks like Mueller is going. He's also throwing a lot of curveballs. I mean, he he has asked about about payoffs to women aside from say Stormy Daniel. Do you know that did the Trump campaign or did someone in the Trump orbit? pay off other women to keep them quiet. I mean, they're asking about that. So it's so that would make it sound like he's gone beyond the initial, which is not the first time, you know, when an investigation has veered, veered off its well, original intent. And Starr. And Starr. Monica Lewinsky right, was right. veering off from Whitewater, obviously. Yeah, it looks like they're looking at, they're, they're looking at other things. Uh, you know, listen, one thing I do know about prosecutors is they, they don't uh, ignore potential wrongdoing, right? So if they see something... Uh, tangential that's wrong, like right. uh, payoffs to a woman that maybe shouldn't have come out of the campaign chest. I'm not saying it has. I'm just saying that's something to look at. But it really looks like they're focusing on his business dealings in Russia, longstanding, how much he wanted to do business in Russia, and those connections setting the stage for a potential collusion with Russians during the campaign. That they, he had friendly ties with a lot of people there. That those friendly ties materialized. Into, into some sort of a, uh, you know, some sort of a network that pushed his candidacy once he, once he officially announced. They're also asking, like, when did he want, when did he officially announce? Was it, you know, offici officially it was June 5th, June 2015, right? Apparently he was much more interested in, in running a, a year before that. But aren't a lot of, you and I were mentioning this all there, but aren't a lot of candidates who ultimately, you know, announce on a date that they're running uh, and thinking about and getting their ducks in order years prior. Yeah, and his and that year prior was pretty interesting because it corresponds, and this is where you, it gets interesting from the questions, it corresponds to when, you, the, remember the Russian indictment, the 13 Russian nationals that, that Mueller indicted, their social media for defrauding the U.S. and trying to right. get involved in our electoral system, their activities began sometime in 2014. What they were, what they are pushing uh, witnesses is like, tell me when Donald Trump really wanted to run. Donald, because he's he was talking about it for years. But when did he right? really want to run? It was around mm -hmm. the time that they started pushing. So I'm just telling you this. I'm not saying they got him on anything. I could. I'm just telling you that this is a pretty serious investigation into the president's private business dealings political ambitions, the confluence between the two, and that those months prior to the, the, him, him officially announcing they're looking at a lot of business dealings, including that Trump hotel. All right. Thank you very much, Charlie Gasparino.